Hey guys, what's up? This is Lee with DualSIM.us and today I want to do a full review of this Wilson 3G speed booster for your car. So why would you want to have something like this? The answer is simple. If you drive around a lot or if you live in a rural area with poor cell phone reception, you might want to consider this. And the truth is, most places in an urban environment have good phone reception but as soon as you start driving around you get away from the city the reception drops and the signal becomes poor and then when you really need to you cannot get internet connection or you cannot make a phone call and it sucks so today we're going to see if this product actually works so to show you how it works i went to a spot in boston where there is no reception almost at all so I'll show you. Here is my LG G3 LTE phone and you can see it shows 2G connection but zero bars. And now it completely disconnected by itself. So another phone here. Here is a Posh Titan HD 5.5 inch. So I've done a review of this phone recently and you can see it has two bars or three bars of edge, but the connection here is very unreliable. Now my friends live around here, so when I, whenever I come to visit them, I have to call them in advance because I know when I get here, I won't be able to make a phone call. And just to demonstrate this, so you can see I've got two bars of 3G, but let's try to see how it works. We'll open a speed test. And my guess is it will be looking for a server for a little bit and then won't find it. And basically there is a very poor reception here. It's on AT&T, on T-Mobile, on Sprint. And Verizon does get a signal here, but it's still very poor. Basically only good for phone calls. So while this phone is looking for a server for a connection, let me show you what you get in the box. All right. So here is a box and here is what Wilson calls a sleek or basically your speed booster itself. So it's a phone cradle with adjustable uh, wings so you can fit different size phones in it and you have your antenna, external antenna port here, you have mini USB port for power and then you have a second mini USB port so you can charge your phone. Now this is attached to a mount, either a suction cup mount or a different type of mount. And in the box with this product you get a sticky pad mount, just like this. I don't like it very much and I'll tell you why later, but basically it comes with this device and if you want to use it. You basically slide one thing into another and and basically adhere it, for example, to your um, DVD or whatever it is, the GPS screen. I'm just joking, of course, you can adhere it here or like to a mirror, whatever. This is a shitty mount, to be honest with you. I think Wilson could have done a much better job with the mount, for example, a suction cup, but, you know, if they wanted to give you the best price and you know the best quality so they included this and they wanted to make some extra money so you can buy a separate suction cup mount all right let's move on um you have this usb charger this is for to power the device itself i'm gonna turn it on in a second and you have a sp four spare wings so for example if you break something if you break one of them you can replace you don't have to go look for them and lastly you have a USB power cable so this is a mini USB as you can see and you have this very long antenna cable now I'm not gonna install it permanently because if you want to do it you want to hide this cable somehow make it invisible so you feed it through the moldings in your car now I'm just gonna put it on the roof of my car and do some tests now this antenna here it has a very strong magnet and i'm going to show you right now how it works but basically you put it on on the roof of your car and it doesn't go anywhere so 
wait a second I'll show you how it works all right so we're outside of the car and all you do is place the antenna just like so on the roof and it's you can see boom it's pretty it's a very strong magnet so it's not going anywhere okay so then you feed this cable through your molding some something like along these lines and just make it invisible but we're not gonna bother with this right now so we're just going to do some tests all right so to make this device functional you need to attach the antenna place it outside your car just like so then you give it some power and the device goes on so let me do a test with and without this device let's unpower it so it doesn't do anything by itself and we've got some edge connection here so it did find the server let's try how it works now while it's doing the test i'll show you this is actually a 3g or 2g signal booster only it doesn't work for lt i've already tested it it doesn't do anything for lt um and what i'm have what i have in my hand is actually a 3g only phone so Yeah, I think it's gonna ping and test for a while and then won't do anything. Or even if it does pick up a signal, uh, it's not gonna work very well. Just from experience. Okay, so you see network communication error. All right, and now let's try to do the same test in this speed booster. So, what you do is you place your phone in the cradle, just like so, doesn't go anywhere. And as you can see, the speed picked up, went from edge to 3G. Now I know it says 4G, but it's actually HSPA Plus, which is T-Mobile's 3G. So, let's kill this app and start it again. And now it's going to work a lot better than before. And we even get almost a megabit download speed, well, half a megabit, which is still way better than nothing. And on top of that, you can actually make phone calls if you're stranded. Like I said, whenever I come to visit my friends here, I can't even make a phone call because my phone will not connect to a network. It, it is this bad over here so I have to call in advance before I come up here so they can open the door now let me do another test so this time around it's not as good of a speed but you know what we can actually do something with this internet speed and I'll show you right now so let's open a browser and go say to cnn.com now the loading speed will not be super fast as you've seen the internet is pretty slow but this should work in a second or two okay so while it's loading let me talk about this mount again so you can see the CNN site is loading albeit very slow but it's better than no connection at all so the mount um, like I said sticky pad 
it doesn't always work everywhere so you might want to put it on your um, dashboard but the grainy surface you know that adhesion will not be as good and what i really don't like about it is this type of mounting of connection between the mount itself and the cradle so it's very easy to come out and although this piece here should be holding it it still comes out very easily and you know wilson could have done a lot better job with the with a mount especially that they charge about 100 bucks for this device but it is what it is so if I were you, I would get a um, scotch magnetic mount like this. I would adhere a metal plate on the back of this device and just and just use it like so with a scotch. But you can do what you want. So, um, how much this de this device costs? Let's look at Amazon.com, my favorite place for getting stuff and search for Wilson PG Speed Booster okay so it's 80, $80.97 on Amazon and if you have Prime you get free shipping with it and even if you don't have Prime it's over $35 you still get free shipping now so basically is this device worth the money and should you buy it now if you live in a city and you have good reception for the most part you probably do not need this speed booster but if you're say a trucker or a delivery driver or you just drive around a lot like for sales calls or whatever and you go outside of the city a lot i think this device is a must because even here in Boston, you drive out 20-30 minutes and you lose reception in many spots and this, this thing will make it possible for you to make phone calls and get to the internet. So if you need a connection on the road, this is absolutely a must device and it's very much worth the $80 that you pay for it. So there you go guys, this was Leo with dualsim.us. And this was my review once again of Wilson 3G Speed Booster for your car. Now, if you want to buy it, I'm going to place a link to the Amazon in the description below. Um, if you buy it with the link, you support this channel. Um, it doesn't cost you anything more. And I would really appreciate that you use my link if you do buy this device. Now you don't have to. And... If you enjoyed this video, please click a like button also below and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And it will tell me that I make good videos and I will make more of them. So, alright, thanks for watching. Come back for the next video soon. See ya.